In times like these everyone lacks hope, purpose and salvation. As a result, humanity is subject to its sinful nature, chasing depravity and abolishing all sense of decency, believing that this might fill the emptiness they have in their lives. Whether it may be adultery, seeking fame on social media, or striving for riches. All these bring no fulfillment and leave one with a bitter aftertaste. However, every human has hope, purpose and a salvation and that in only Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself for our sins so that we may have the salvation which is eternal life in heaven. But not only this. In him you will find hope for the future. Because we Christians know that all things work together for good to them that love God. If you accept these facts, you are equipped to lead a purposeful lifestyle in Christ. May Jesus Christ bless you in your walk. And after these things I saw another angel, nothing to do with the other seven angels we talked about in chapter 17 and previously. I saw another angel coming down from heaven having great authority. So this angel is the Lord Jesus, who is the ultimate authority, the sovereign power, the sovereign authority. He had having great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. The earth was illuminated with his glory. This angel, he illuminated the whole earth, or with his glory. The Lord Jesus, in his first coming, John the Baptist, look what he says to the Jewish people, to the Israelite nation. He says, but there stands one among you. He is referring to the Lord Jesus. But there stands one among you whom you do not know. So in the first coming of the Lord, he was born in the midst of the Israelite nation. But John the Baptist prophesied and said, he is standing in the midst of you. The Messiah is here, but you do not know him. Why? Because if you were after the light of the world, you would have known him and you would have seen him. But you chose darkness over the light, for your deeds were of evil origin. Of evil origin. But there stands one among you whom you do not know. John 1:26. And then the Lord himself in John 8, 12, he says, I am the light of the world. And he illuminated in verse 1 of Revelation 18, he illuminated the whole earth. In John 8, 12, the Lord says, I am the light of the world. What does the light do? Illuminates. Illuminates the whole earth. So that angel in Revelation 18.1 is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy name. He illuminates because he is the light of the world. And the light in its nature illuminates. That's all it can do. Cannot hide things, can only reveal and clarify things. I am the light of the world, John 8, 12, the Lord says. And then in John 1, 5, it says, And the darkness did not comprehend it, did not comprehend the light. The darkness are the people who chose evil deeds over righteous deeds. So those people who rejected the Lord Jesus, obviously they remained in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend the light, i.e., they did not understand him. They did not know him. They did not wish to know him. Why? Because they didn't want to give up on their evil doings. Just like now. Why people reject the Lord? Because they do not wish to give up on their way of living. Not ready for the Lord. Because if I come to the Lord, he'll say to me, don't go clubbing. I'm not ready to give up on clubbing for you, Lord. If I come to the Lord and he says, don't change your face in Istanbul, I'm not ready to give up on Istanbul. If I come to the Lord and he says to me, you need to pray, you need to fast, you need to come to church, you need to read the Holy Bible, I'm going to say, when am I going to enjoy life? 
I'm still young, Lord, please. I'm not a nun. I'm not Saint Therese. I'm not a monk. I'm just an ordinary person. Can you please give me a, a break? When I'm 70 plus and receiving pension from Centrelink, hopefully it's still around, I'll come to you, Lord. But now, Bondi Beach, here we come, baby. <laughs> Lord, who's going to give me vitamin D and B and C and KFC? Who's going to do that? I'm not ready, Lord. That's why it's not the Lord's fault. The Lord is the light. You know what the earth does? The earth rotates, revolves around her, itself. And then when it turns around, it says the sun went down. The sun didn't go down. You turned around. You gave your back to the sun. That's why you're facing darkness. But look how the earth thinks. I turned and I gave my back to the Lord and I said, the sun went down. Wow. Aren't we wonderful creatures? So we do the wrong things and then we blame God. Darkness did not comprehend the light. All the light can do is shine and show you the way. What fault does the light have for you to judge the light, yet you are remaining in darkness? This is the problem of humanity from day one. Darkness did not comprehend him. They didn't want to know him. He's too good. I'm not ready for him. Because I still want to go downtown. What a what a dove dove. What a what a dove dove. Just like Sharbelli goes, what a what a dove dove. Yeah? But the second coming of the Lord, which is revelation, which is the second coming, the second coming of the Lord, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. So in the first coming, he is standing in the midst of you, yet you don't know him. But in the second coming, every knee and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ Lord and God the whole world will know him whether they like it or not because when the Sun shines illuminates the whole earth so in the second coming no one is gonna say oh I don't know who Jesus No, everybody will know everyone those who have rejected him those who have accepted him those who have blasphemed against him every knee will bow in the second coming because he is the owner of everything visible and invisible he is the creator of every realm tangible and spiritual he is god revealed in the flesh who has created all in the second coming he'll make sure every knee will bow before him for he is the king of all kings and the lord of all lords my beloveds this is jesus christ of nazareth